Hello, this is Mr. Buffington from Simplify Academy, and we're going to finish off Unit 2 with this lesson on dividing by powers of 10. It's a little bit more of a relaxed lesson, no long division. Let's get into this lesson. We are going to talk about powers of 10. We've discussed those before, but we're going to do something different with them, and then we're going to do some pretty easy practice. Let's look at powers of 10. As a quick review, 10 to the power of 1, 10 to the power of 2, 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of 4. These are examples of powers of 10, or 10 raised to the power of a number. What they mean when you see an exponent, and that's what those little numbers are called, those exponents mean you are multiplying that number times itself. So 10 to the power of 1 means there's just one 10. So it just means 10. This will start making a little bit more sense when we get this. When we have 10 times 10, you see the power of 2 means that you're multiplying 10 twice. 10 times 10, which gives you 100. 10 to the power of 3 is 10 times 10 times 10, which gives you 1,000. 10 to the power of 4 is 10,000. We've talked about this in our previous lesson and how the patterns that are shown here actually make our lives kind of easy. We're adding zeros. Did you notice that? 10 to the power of 4 has four zeros, then 3, 2, and 1. When we are dividing by powers of 10, this is what it will look like. 500 divided by 10 gives you 50. 500 divided by 100 gives you 5. 5 divided by 10 gives you what? Think about this process. It's not necessarily about zeros, but it's about moving decimals. Well, let me show you. 500.0 divided by 10 gives you 50 or 50.0. 50 500.0 divided by 100 gives you 5. So 5.0 divided by 10 gives you 0.5. It's all about moving the decimal. Just like when we multiplied times powers of 10 and we shifted the decimal to the right, now we are dividing by powers of 10. And when you do that, you shift the decimal to the left. This is all about moving decimals. So let's start moving some decimals. When you have this, 25 divided by 10, you would move the decimal from the end of the 25 into the middle of the 25. So you would have 2.5. When you have 341 divided by 100, you're shifting the decimal two places. So it goes from being on the end after the 1 to moving two places to between the 3 and the 4. Go ahead and try this one, 4.76 divided by 10. You would shift that decimal where? What would that number look like after you finish it? Well, you're dividing by 10. That's like 10 to the power of 1. So it's shifting the decimal one place. Is that what you got? Now we're going to try your turn. I have a couple of questions I want you to try. And these should go pretty quick. Go ahead and try that one out. What do you get when you take 8.6 divided by 10? Did you get 0 0.86? Notice the decimal shifted one place to the left. How about this one? 4.9 divided by 100. Did you get 0 0.049? Notice the decimal shifts two places in this case, two places to the left. It goes from between the 4 and the 9, back past the 4, and one more place. And you have to fill in that 0 to show that it has shifted past there. I'll show you that in a little bit more detail here in a second. And then we have this example, 455 divided by 10 and that would shift to 45.5. Now, like I said, I wanted to show you this in just a little bit more detail right here with this example. 
Notice the decimal started here between the 4 and the 9. And because it's 100 with two zeros, it will shift two places. It'll go to there and then to there for the final answer. It goes two places to the left. And that's important. <clears throat> Notice with every single one of these, this one shifted one place. So it ended up here. This one shifted from here, where we don't normally don't write the decimal on the end. It shifted back one place because it has one zero. This is shifting two places. So it's going from here, one and two places right to there. And again, this unwritten decimal there would shift one place. And this decimal here shifted just one place so that it's located on the left of the four. It's all about moving decimals. And how far you move the decimal depends on the power of 10. If it's 10 to the power of 1 or the number 10, you're shifting it one place. 10 to the power of 2, which is 100, you're shifting it two places. We're going to talk about this as powers of 10 because honestly, that's where it really um, is a little bit more usable and to me more understandable is when we write it as powers of 10. So 32 divided by 10 to the power of 1, we're shifting the decimal one place, 3.2. 12.3 divided by 10 to the power of 2. We're shifting the decimal two places to the left. It would look like this. 3.2 divided by 10 to the power of 3. This one's a little bit more complex. Think about that one for just a second. What would you do with that one? Make sure you're filling in those zeros and it should look like this. All right. Again, I want to point that out. The decimal started here, but it shifted one place, two places, and three places so that it's there. We're not going to have questions quite this large, but I wanted to show you an example because it doesn't matter how big the exponent gets, you're going to be doing the same exact thing. It's all about shifting decimals. And you have got this. That's it. That is all it is. Now, on our worksheet and in the quiz, you will not be doing this with the exponents of 10. You'll be doing similar to the previous questions, dividing by 10 and dividing by 100. But this is where it's going into something that you will see in the future, raised 10 raised to the power of different numbers. A couple of things to remember. Powers of 10 means you're raising 10 to the power of something. Um, it's all about moving decimals. You do have to add in zeros sometimes, um, depending on the number of spaces the decimal moves. I hope that video was helpful for you. Good luck on the worksheet. Have a wonderful day.